What's going on, guys? Here we are, Motivation Monday, episode 46. Today, we are going to talk about embracing it. So what does that mean? It's a broad topic. Stick around. I'm going to go into detail about embracing things, positive, negative, and everything in between, and how it's going to help you on your fitness journey. Boom. All right, we back. We back. So real quick, before we jump into episode 46, how you see I'm wearing, you know, my rack running shirt. So I just want to give a quick shout out to my man, my brother, business partner, Kyle Harvey, a.k.a. As you know, on Instagram is Harv Diesel of the Rack Runners. You know, pull it, pull that up right there. All right, cool. So basically, you know, I just want to make sure everybody knows he's accepting new clients. You know, it's two brands, Rack Runners, no excuse crew under one company with one vision, one message. And that's to get everybody in this world fit. So please make sure if you aren't already tapped in with him, make sure you tap in with him. That's just like, you know, whichever one of us you're working with and, you know, with the rest of the crew. But, you know, as you see, we, we, we're growing to bring more to you. But I want to make sure I got that announcement out there. All right, cool. So let's jump into, let's jump into, um, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, episode 46, talking about embracing it. So we talk about embracing it. A lot of people repel things in life, especially negative things. Now, don't get me wrong. You don't want to sit there and take negative on and, and let that weigh you down and become a burden and put you into a negative place. But there's a difference once you start to embrace it. Okay? So then you understand what you need to shuffle out, no pun intended, and then what you need to embrace. For example, you know, you're posting your progress pictures and you know, you're feeling good, but you got the haters. Put a shirt on. Oh, nah, you know, whatever. You know how people on social media are. People on the couch that's doing nothing, you know, criticizing the doers. So embrace that. What do I mean by embrace it? Because once you embrace it, you say thank you. Because now when you're at the gym and you're kind of tired and then you think about that one person that tried to tell you to put a shirt on whatever corny thing that they said. You've embraced it. Guess what? You've taken the power away from them because now know what you're going to want to do? From personal experience, you're going to post another picture with your shirt on hoping that person says something because now you've embraced the hate and you are using it. You've disarmed them, took their power away, and now you're using it as, as, um, you know, as your power. It's the same thing with positivity. You want to embrace as much positive as possible. Now, there's people like me where I'm not good with compliments and things of that nature. So speaking from personal experience here, I have, I am in the process of learning to embrace that and accept that because those are the things that also, you know, it, it, it's, um, it's circular that happen when, you know, you're down. For example, I don't want to go to the gym today, you know, yeah, I mean, I'm working hard, I'm just so tired or just whatever the case may be. You sit there and think about that person that gave you that compliment Damn, you know that, yo, your, your pants, they're getting so loose on you. Oh, that shirt is fitting you perfectly. Oh, man, I, your body goals and all, all these different things that you can hear. Use that because, you know, embrace those compliments. Again, this is really, I'm talking to the people that have trouble, like myself, accepting compliments. Because once you, when you use that and you bring that in, that's going to help you at that little point. It's going to help you say, oh, it's going to give you that little, mm, that little boost. So you need to embrace. So on that topic of embracing things, think about everything that goes on. Positive, negative, everything in between, and most importantly, the truth. Embrace the truth. So a lot of us, because kind of goes along with self-awareness like we talked about last week, if you aren't embracing the truth, you're, put, you're setting yourself up for not only failure, but for disaster. See, I see people, I doubt they're gonna watch this, but I hope they do, that are putting themselves off as trainers and saying that they're doing work and these things of that nature, but they don't have any clients. And, I'm, and they're sitting there wondering why they don't have any clients, why people, you know, they're ambassadors for pro products and they're wondering why people aren't using their link and things of that nature. If you're trying to be an influencer, you're trying to be a trainer, you're doing sales. Okay, I have an extensive sales background. When you embrace the truth and understand you are a representation of what you are selling, if you do not look the part, people aren't gonna buy in this fitness industry. I'm telling you that, point blank period. 
So you have to embrace the truth and say, I need to fix this so I can get to where I want to be. Some people are going to take that. It's going to discourage them. It's only going to discourage somebody that doesn't want to do the work. If you don't want to do the work, I'm the last person you want to come talk to because that's all I know. Anybody that's around me, it's all we do is we work our asses off, point blank period. You know what I'm saying? So embrace that truth. The truth isn't always pretty. The truth hurts a lot of times. I've had to have a lot of times with myself in this whole thing that I've been doing as a business owner, my fitness journey, where I've embraced some ugly truths that I didn't like, but it made me better. So embrace those truths. So embrace the negativity, embrace the positivity, embrace the truth. That's your theme for today. Embrace it. All right, guys. Hope this helped you out. Give you a little bit of motiva motivation for Monday. Talk to you soon.